Hey, virtual pinball enthusiasts. Today, we're turning up the volume on the Act Games Legends Pinball. It's time for an audio upgrade that's so good might even make your pinball machine break dance. So grab your speakers, and let's make some noise. We're going from this to that. And from that universe deluxe to this universe deluxe. And from that to this. First things first, let's unbox the components we'll be using for this upgrade. We've got a two-channel speaker wire RCA converter with LOC, $14, a pair of Fido Pro 3FE 25s, 3-inch mid-range speakers, $40, a Kinter MA170 Plus two-channel mini amplifier, $19, quality speaker wire and RCA cables. All of this for less than $100 US. Since the screws that originally aligned the speaker grill in the ALP back glass do not work with this newer, larger speaker, this modification will require some hardware to accommodate both the speaker and the original grill. Our starting point is this two channel speaker wired RCA converter with LOC. This little device will allow us to seamlessly connect our new speakers to the existing ALP system, giving us the freedom to upgrade without a hassle. Without the LOC, new amplifier being added to the system would receive an already amplified signal from the ALP and can't be directly connected to devices like amplifiers and subwoofers designed to work with line level inputs we get into transforming to line level signal. The LOC takes the amplified speaker level signal and converts it to a line level signal. Line level signal is a lower voltage pre-amplified signal that is compatible with devices like amplifiers, equalizers, and subwoofers. This conversion is necessary to ensure that the receiving equipment gets the appropriate signal strength. An LOC typically has RCA outputs that can be connected to the RCA inputs of an amplifier or another device. This connection provides the converted line level signal to the receiving equipment, allowing for proper amplification and sound reproduction. In summary, an LOC acts as an intermediary device that takes a higher voltage, speaker level audio signal converts it to a lower voltage line level signal that can be easily connected to and processed by various audio equipment. This enables you to integrate additional audio components into your setup, even if your source provides a speaker level signal. Meet the Ross stars of the show, the Fidel Pro 3FE25 mid-range speakers. They're not just speakers, they're the Mick Jaggers of the audio world for pinball machines, here to give you some serious swagger. These babies are designed to deliver crystal clear audio with impressive power handling. They're the heart of our upgrade. So let's get into swapping them out. We're gonna swap out these old speakers for new ones. Carefully remove the old ones and install the Fidel Pro mid-range speakers in their place. Make sure they're securely fastened for optimal sound performance. You're gonna need a drill, and I believe this is a 1 8 drill bit. You're gonna need to drill some pilot holes in when you reuse the screws that originally mounted the plastic box to the back glass of the ALP. Please remember to only drill about three to four millimeters of depth. This is only a guide for the screw. Otherwise, you're gonna go through the back glass and it won't look pretty. If you mount the speakers in the same orientation I did, you'll be able to get some M4 screws through the original holes for the speaker grill. That way, you'll be able to retain the speaker grill with some nuts and bolts. Please remember to not over tighten these as you may crack the plexiglass back glass. Also advise for the screws that hold the speakers to the inside of the back glass. Use a screwdriver and some muscles. Try not to use a power drill or an impact drill. You will strip them out quickly. And here comes the power player, the Kinter MA170 Plus, two channel mini amplifier. This compact powerhouse will give our new speakers the juice they need to really shine. Why amplify? These speakers require more power than the OEM board could probably manage. Plus, we can fine tune the output to our liking. We'll connect the mini amplifier, wire it up to the according provided instructions. This step will require a little bit of precision, but the payoff will be well worth it. Ensure polarity. And tidy up the wires. 
neatly organized and secure the cables to prevent any interference or messy appearance. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the sound test. Once everything's set up, you're gonna want to turn up the volume on your ALP to around 88. Leave it there, and from here on out, you'll be adjusting the volume to your brand new speakers through the amplifier. Congratulations, pinball maestros. You just pimped your pinball machine even further. Until next time, keep flipping, rocking, and may your high scores be ever legendary. Catch you on the next flip. To all my longtime subscribers, thank you for sticking around through the recent changes and some additional series. Your support means the world. Let's continue this journey together. If you found this useful, hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Devil Rider. Yeah. <laughs>